yoga lift. I'm Camila. I'm gonna do today a vinyasa class and this one is for beginners. So maybe if you've never done yoga before, this is the one for you. I'm gonna be explaining the poses and I'm gonna start little by little with the language, with the poses uh, and the idea of yoga lift is to connect your mind, your body, and your heart. So through this connection, uh, you're gonna see actually how everything changes, how you start eating better, how you start to have maybe uh, more tolerance, more patience, and also how your body is gonna change. So little by little, it's not it's not a workout by itself, it's a practice. And it's a practice of your whole self. So I hope you enjoy it. This is gonna be a half an hour class and I hope you'll be connected with Yoga Lift Camilla. And please subscribe right here. And I have a ton of other videos. I have also intermediate vinyasa and I have a uh, classes for kids and also facial yoga so if you want to try it go ahead thank you okay so we're gonna get started with the class for the props you're gonna need of course your mat uh, maybe a block if you need it and you also may need a strap or um, you can use an old tie and you can also use a book Okay, so let's go in front of the mat right here. Very nice. So you're gonna try to spread those toes. Then you're gonna try to put the whole feet very open in the mat. So all the corners of your feet are touching the ground. We're gonna have our hands in Namaste. We're gonna take a big inhale up. Bend the knees, go down. Touch the floor with your fingers and go up. And again, down. Inhaling when you go up. And exhaling when you go down. And for this last inhale, we're gonna stop right here. Right here. Very nice. And very good. And Ukutasana chair right there. Very good. And we're going to have our left elbow is going to go into our right knee. We're going to breathe. So you want your hands not to go over your shoulder, but actually to go in the center, right there, very close to your heart. Perfect. So you have two options. You can stay right here or you can put that left hand on the floor and the right hand up. So see where you are, listen to your body. It's your practice. So you don't have to be right here. You can be right here and it's perfect. Stay right here. Take a deep breath. And let's go to center again. Inhaling and exhale, feel those legs. And now we're going to put our right elbow on top of your left knee. And again, those hands, be mindful of your hands. We want them to be in the center so you can stay here. Or the right hand is going to go on the outside of your left foot. And the left hand is going to be stretched. Take a deep breath. Have that hand open. In Hastabandha. Hastabandha just means with your fingers open and your arm and hand energized. And go to center again. Feel those legs. And take a deep inhale up. And go down, all the way down this time. Perfect. And right here, when I put those hands under your feet and we're gonna stretch the legs so we 
have them bent and now we're going to stretch the legs still with your hands under your feet if this is not a possibility this is when you grab your block so you can be right here or you can be right here so accommodate your block depending on where you are always use your props perfect and right now we're gonna be on the floor so we're gonna put those hands on the sides and this time we're gonna go first into the knees and we're gonna do our first chaparanga so chaparanga is just like a push up going down elbows in and go down and up so keep your abdomen in squeeze your glutes and down and up so all this time i have my knees on the floor my feet are flat i'm exhaling when i go down and inhaling when i go up one more exhaling big inhale and we're gonna go back with our hips into balasana chow pose and stay right here and breathe so you have your hands extended in the front your forehead is on the ground and you're gonna go up with your hips again in satangasana table where your hands and your knees are parallel to each other and we're gonna go up with those hips for our first Arumukas Vanasana downward up. So this is one of the main positions here in Vinyasa Yoga. At first it's hard and then it's actually a resting pose. So try for those heels to go into the floor. And now we're gonna stay right here and our left hand is gonna look for my right leg. So it can touch maybe my thigh, my chin, or it can be even lower towards my foot. And I'm gonna look through my right armpit. That's good. Inhale and exhale. And then we're gonna go on the other side. So right hand is gonna look for that left leg. And remember my heels are gonna go down into the ground if possible are aiming for that ground so right hand i'm grabbing my left foot and i'm looking through my left armpit ah it feels very good and again into center with both hands and take those heels back and take those hips back and take a deep breath and we're going to take the left foot in the center and the right foot is going to go up the right leg. It doesn't have to go high. I just want it to be parallel to the floor. And my right foot is flexed in Parabanda. And I'm going to go all the way front with that right foot. And actually it's going to be in between my hands. It's going to be going to be right here in low lunge. Perfect. Take a deep breath. The left knee goes into the floor. The right hand goes on top of my right knee. And I'm gonna twist into the right side. Take a deep breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe your right leg tends to go to the side a little bit, so that's fine. And maybe your right foot is gonna peel from the floor. That's fine too. Be mindful of your back, be mindful of your breath, inhaling and exhaling. That's a little delicious stretch right there. And go back into center, both hands on the floor, left leg goes up, 45 degree angle for my back foot. Right hand is going to be next to my right foot and my left hand is going to go up for a nice long stretch. Try to inhale and exhale. And from here we're gonna go up and up and up into Virabhadrasana too. 
So what we have is that we're bending that front knee. We're stretching the arms. And the idea is that I have my arms on the same level. So I'm stretching. I'm toning. Maybe my hands can look up. Look at your middle finger and see if maybe if it's in the same distance of my left hand. Very good. Now you're going to have your hands looking down. I'm going to put my right elbow on top of my right knee. And my left hand is going to go on into the side. So I have my right hand is open. I'm looking into the side. Parsvakonasana. And from here again, we're going to go into Viravadrasana too. Stay here. Feel your legs. Feel your arms. You're toning. You're stretching. You're connecting. Feel your body. And again, Parsvakonasana. Very nice. Feel of that stretch. Go deeper with your knee. And back into Viravadrasana too. Go deep with your right knee. And the last one, Parsvakonasana. So right elbow. Extend that left arm. And maybe see what happens if you take that right elbow off your knee. So the idea is that you're doing your whole effort with your core. It's not your leg, it's not your arm, it's your core. And go back into Viravadrasana too. Awesome. Now we're going to windmill those arms front and we're going to go back. So first we are in plank, our knees are not touching the floor and then our knees touch the floor. And we're gonna do a chataranga. Elbows in, go down, up, big inhale, and exhale, go down, up, and inhale, there you go. Exhale, go down, sorry, and inhale, go up, perfect. And from here, balasana, so you take your hips back, and Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog. So for this Downward Dog, we're going to walk that dog. So we're just going to bend the knees, inhaling and exhaling, feeling those hips, going from side to side. That's good. Stay put right there. And this time we're going to put our left leg also up. And again, that left foot is in Parabanda. Flex. And that leg is going to go in between my hands. So you have to be very careful here. So you don't have your foot under your knee. You actually have to walk that foot forward. So your foot is going to be a little bit more... Uh, in front, right, of your knee. So almost you have like a diagonal line over here in between your knee and your foot. You put that right knee on the floor, left hand goes into your right knee, you can put your fist or your fingertips of your right hand and you're gonna look into the left side. Feel the twist. Your right foot is flat. Take some deep inhale and exhale. Enjoy the twist. Twists are very cleansing. And then go back into center, both hands on the floor. Right knee is gonna go up. And this time, my right foot is 90 degree angle. My left hand is on the floor and my right hand is up. Bend that front knee. If it's too much, always, you can always use those props. Use your block in any way that you want. 
Breathe here. Inhaling and exhaling. And from here, we're going to go all the way up into Viravadrasana 2. So you have your front knee bent. Your right foot is in 90 degree angle. Your arms are open. Your back is straight. Your abdomen is tight. And be very mindful of that. Uh, of that core, of that center. Look at your right hand, look at your left, and try not to be too much in front in the future or not too much in the back, in the past. Be in the present, right in the middle. And we're gonna bend that left elbow, Parsvakonasana, and that right hand is gonna go right up into the side so we're stretching inhale and exhale open that left hand in Parapa in Hastabandha and again Virabhadrasana too inhaling sustaining maintaining left elbow and right hand into the side try to twist with your whole body if you're looking at you might look down if your neck bothers you. And again, up into Viravadrasana too. And breathe here. You can open your hands and see the difference. What happens when you open your hands? You receive that energy and close them again. And the last one, Parashvakunasana. So left elbow into the left knee and right hand up into the side. Feels so good. Last Viravadrasana too. Stay right here with me. Bend that front knee. Maybe you can go deeper. Keep that core strong. And again, we're gonna windmill those arms and we're gonna be in a low lunge right here and we're gonna take maybe plank and you can do the chataranga from here or since we're just starting we can use our knees our feet are flat and vinyasa so chataranga elbows in core straight and up and exhale and up and again, big exhale, and up. Awesome. Now we're going to go back into Balasana. Now we're going to try the bunny right here, Sasangasana. So um, we're going to interlace our hands on the back, and we're going to put our hips up, and we're going to put our forehead on the ground. So they call it the bunny because our arms here are our ears sticking out this is very relaxing go back with your hands as much as you're able awesome pretty good now go all the way down and maybe your hands are going to touch your feet still with that forehead on the ground and take a deep breath in and out Relax your shoulders. Perfect. Again, Satangasana table, Arumukasvanasana, downward dog. Again, take those hips back as much as possible. Think that maybe that nose is going to touch the mat. Heels are aiming for the floor. Right leg goes up in between your hands and you can do this movement let's do that again you can do it in several steps or you can do it in one step it doesn't matter how you get there again save that knee move that foot forward and now we're gonna take that left leg uh, to join the right the right one we're gonna stay right here bending 
You can put your hands on top of your knees. You can put your hands in Namaste, or you can put your hands up. This one is a little bit more challenging. Stay right here, try to breathe, feel your body, control your body. Take a deep breath in, up. And exhale, and this time on the way up, we're gonna go in our tippy toes. So we add a little bit of balance here. Tippy toes, and down, let's see if you can see me over here. And again, tippy toes, tippy toes. Open those hands. In has the banda and the last one again, tippy toes. That was perfect. We're gonna do a little bit of balance, so give it a shake. Maybe have something to drink. And we're gonna bend those knees and we're gonna inhale and exhale. But you're gonna let go of those hands. So they're touching your body like a little massage. Your knees are bending. There you go. Inhaling and exhaling and stop right there. And we're gonna do a balance pose. So we're gonna start, this time we're gonna do the eagle, Karuna Payasana. And uh, it has like several options. So we're gonna so we're put gonna... the right foot in the middle. And we're gonna uh, depend on that foot for uh, this position for this side. So be balanced on this side, find that center. So the first option is just to cross, to go in front, your left foot is gonna go in front of your right foot. So this is option number one. So my toes are actually touching the ground, but my heel is not. And I'm very mindful of my back and my center, option number one. Option number two is go, it goes a little bit higher this is option number two. So I'm not resting my left foot on the floor, it's in the air. And option number three, my leg is gonna go all around and I'm gonna hook myself with that left, with those left toes. So I'm hooking with my leg. And you can put your hands in Namaste. So this is option number, uh, number three. You can stay right here, option number one, option number two, and option number three. And maybe we can add or we cannot add our arms. So you decide. So this time our left arm is gonna be underneath. My right arm is gonna be on top. So I'm doing like a cross. And then I'm gonna try, so this is one option right here. I can grab my uh, thumb and my little finger right here or I can go maybe all the way so my palms are connecting one with the other one and my elbows my elbows are gonna go up and I'm bending my knees almost like sitting and my elbows are gonna go up there we go beautiful eagle and I'm gonna unravel my hands and my legs, and the wind, and I'm gonna give it a shake. So give it a shake, beautiful, balanced pose, strong pose, weight toning and flexibility. And I'm gonna do it on the other side. So left foot is on the floor. Option number one, toes on the floor. My right leg, just went in front of my left one. Option number two, in the air. Option number three, I'm going all around my leg, my left leg, and my right foot is actually trying to grab that leg, hooking with those toes. And this time my right arm is gonna go under, or my left is gonna go on top, so, I can be right here, just doing the cross. Maybe 
that little pinky finger of my right hand is gonna grab my uh, left thumb, or maybe both palms are gonna be facing each other and my elbows are gonna go up and I'm gonna sit. Try to distribute your effort. So it's not just your left foot that is doing everything. You're doing the effort with your abdomen, with your arms, with your legs, everything. Stay right here. Look for a focal point, a drishti, right there. A little bit more, and that's it. Give it a shake. That was perfect. Okay, we're gonna go into the floor. But for us to go into the floor, we're gonna do it little by little. So we're gonna go in front of the mat so we have space in the back. And we're gonna bend, bend, bend those knees. Maybe we can go all the way down and your heels are touching the floor and your whole foot is on the floor. Maybe your hands are in front so it will help you with balance. And this is when you go down, right? Perfect. I'm gonna move my microphone a little bit. There you go. So we're gonna be right here and we're gonna start to go down little by little. Slow, slow. So the slower that we do things, it's harder and it's better. So I'm not gonna touch the floor just a little bit and I'm gonna go up. Very good. And again, go low, little by little, low, low, low. Awesome. And up. And the last one. So low. You can also put those hands in the back if it's too much. Maybe if your lower back is hurting. Right? Just one more to show you. <laughs> or you can have those hands grabbing your legs. So you decide always your options. There are always options. And go all the way back and hug your legs. Very good. And maybe those legs can go up into the ceiling. And you're going to point and flex with your feet. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Mm, that one feels very good. And the left leg is going to stay up. And your right is going to go low. Perfect. And then again, up for your right. And go low with your left. My left leg is not touching the floor. It's just almost touching it, but it's not right above. You can put maybe your hands behind your neck. Very good. And just do it at your own pace. Left and right leg, up and down. Don't forget to breathe in this ones. Inhaling and exhaling. Maybe exhaling when one leg goes down and inhaling when the other one goes up. Awesome. Perfect. Woo, that felt very good. And again, grab those legs from, from under your knees and pull a little bit. And we're just gonna go into the side right here so my elbow is touching the floor and I can grab maybe my left foot if this is not a possibility there's the strap so I put my strap around my left foot hold it left foot left hand and I just pull this is a beautiful stretch right here and let go very nice, again, and let go, and I'm going to show you without the strap, keep going, right hand, 
left foot and go very nice and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side okay so my left elbow is touching the ground bend the right knee put that leg up and let go and up and let go again with your strap it would look like this perfect just a little stretch very nice now put yourself on the belly and um actually both hands both elbows are on the ground correct and we're gonna turn your left hand so maybe you can grab that right foot and just stretch as much as you're able if you are not able to grab that foot remember you have the strap you have that strap so use it that's perfect feel the stretch yummy stretch now on the other side so right elbow you're gonna turn it and you're gonna look for that left foot and stretch it's perfect breathe in breathe out and maybe we're gonna grab both legs so first we can start uh, the knees touching the floor and maybe if we want to go farther you can grab the feet by the inner side and go up into Dhanurasana and low and up and low and up and the last one that's the last one of those and down and up it felt really good now we're gonna keep those hands next to your body and we're gonna stand lift ourselves up and you're gonna find a comfortable seated position so it can be anything it can be virasana or it can be sukhasana if you have the block you can actually sit on it and you will really feel the ease in your knees if this is a very comfortable position and we're just gonna try to go within for a few minutes so we're gonna rest our wrists on top of our knees we're gonna try to inhale and exhale through our nose we're going to close our eyes. We're going to start to relax our foreheads, shoulders, maybe our jaw, tongue, our chest. Our arms and hands. Relax your abdomen, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your chin. This is the perfect moment to make again that connection between your mind, your body, and your heart. Just try to listen to your bodies and see what they need. What 
they want, what they can achieve. Be open in your heart. You may take this practice with you so you are more patient today, more tolerant, kinder, compassionate. And by being concentrated and mindful about your body and your heart, you've already relaxed your mind. And let it be open to change. Take a few last deep breaths right here. And just be grateful for your practice because you gave some time for you. And we're going to take a deep inhale up. Put your hands in the air. Open those hands. All the breath. Last one, deep inhale up, hold it, 